Sure. Uh, Mac told us yesterday that he's talked to you guys many times over about this semester or whatever the academic term is, is about football and academics and social life can't even be a part of it. How realistic is that for college students and, and for college football players just to X out one whole part of the college experience? Um, you know, I, th I think when he says that, I mean, obviously humans are going to have social interactions. I don't think it's the fact of the matter that social life in general is cut out. But I mean, as students and student athletes and just everyone that goes to school here at UNC, it's just, we just have to adapt to the new normal. And so uh, when it comes to socializing, it's not that we can't see each other. It's just that, you know, you're spread out in social places. Like if I'm walking across campus and I see some friends, I can talk to them. But I mean, you know, obviously they want us to have our masks on when we're not socially distanced and, you know, we need to spread out and everything. So, I mean, we can still socialize and things like that. But as a student athlete, you know, it's definitely different. But I mean, it's something that uh, everyone across America, we need to do in order to go to school, in order to live our lives, in order to play. Because I mean, it's just kind of uh, the hand we're dealt right now, and we just got to deal with it. Thank you. You're welcome. Next up is Ross Martin. Hey, Big Turkey, um, what's going on at the center position? Uh, I know you're competing with uh, Ty Murray there, and you got a lot of starts last year. You're, you're the experienced veteran, and Ty Murray's the, the younger upstart. What's going on there? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, center position is something that you know I'm trying to hold down. And obviously, the coaches want to get as many reps with as many guys as we can. And I think we're in a very fortunate position this year to have an experienced O-line that played uh, entirely together last year. You know, uh, me and the other guys around me, the guards and tackles, we really kind of know each other's tendencies now and uh, know each other's like, our strengths and weakness, weaknesses. So we can kind of play off of that. And uh, having Ty in that mix too. And Adorno, the young center, he's, he's kind of coming along good. Uh, I'm proud of the way he's stepping up, but uh, it's really good. I th and I think it's good now that, uh, especially the last couple of practices, now that we've been in pads, you know, Ty missed a big spring ball last year. And, you know, that's huge for him was, you know, having a spring ball and he didn't get that opportunity. So uh, getting him more live reps now too is something that's going to really help him if he needs to step up in a game and be ready to fill that role. So uh, I'm confident in our whole line. What can you tell us about Adorno as a player? Adorno's got a great frame. Uh, coming in, I think any, any lineman coming in as a freshman would look at that frame and say, man, that's something I wish I could have. But uh, – I mean, he's, he's got an outstanding frame, uh, great strength and great ability. He's very flexible and great movements. But uh, just as a young guy, I mean, he, he's going to take time, and I think he'll get it very quickly. He knows the playbook like the back of his hand already, which is something I've been very surprised in. So uh, he's very smart. But, I mean, when it comes to just being on the field, identifying defenses and uh, really putting, you know, putting the ball on the field and getting to it, that's something that's going to come quickly for him. So uh, he's, he's adjusting very well to college football. All right, thanks, Big Turkey. Absolutely. Uh, over to Andrew Jones, please. Hey, Brian, you were thrust into things last year when Nick got hurt, and you were the guy. You pretty much got every snap at center there for, for, for a long time, almost the rest of the way. At what point did you start to feel kind of comfortable with the responsibility of being the anchor of the line, having to make the calls, and also playing every down at that level? Um, I mean, honestly, it's something that last year I'd get, I got just as many reps in practice almost as I did in games. So it, it really wasn't too much of an adjustment. Uh, but I mean, obviously, getting thrown into a situation where you're playing big opponents every week, it's something that I did have to, you know, it took a couple games to get used to. And, and I look back at the film now from uh, the first few games that I played in last year and where I am now, if you look at, you know, my last three games versus my first three games, it's just, incomparable and uh, how much more comfortable and how much more instinctively I've been playing. So now I'm in a position this year where I get up to the line, play is called, and I don't really even think twice. I've just been playing instinctively. So uh, I'd say probably midway through the season, I really started to get comfortable and adjust to everyone else around me. But that's been the biggest thing is just developing chemistry as a center because you have to know what every single person is going to do on every single play and uh, make adjustments based off of how the other players can play off of it. When you look at the film, like you were just mentioning a second ago, what stands out from those first few games as opposed to late in the season? Just the fluidity of my play. Uh, you know, the first couple of games, there was a lot of uh, coachable errors where you could see I was up at the ball thinking too much, talking too much, making too many calls that things were just running through my head. And that led me early games, had a couple snap infractions and a couple of things like that, that uh, honestly is something that was kind of easy to adjust to now because I mean, now I, get up and, and just play ball. So 
Uh, just looking at myself, I mean, I could definitely tell I'm a lot more comfortable in the seat, uh, moving around a lot better, and just being overall more smooth. That's good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Absolutely. All right, Brian, that's all for today. Thanks for your time, bud. Yes, Appreciate you, Joe.